Hello there, world of tankers, and a welcome to the channel. I'm your host, the Drudels Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be playing in the K91, a Tier 9 Soviet autoloading heavy tank, a vehicle that I would be willing to say is the best Tier 9 in the game, maybe? It's really really solid. There are a lot of great tanks out there in Tier 9, even the Object 752, which is one of the number one performers. It's got great DPM, a double shot gun that has super good alpha at 430, but you know what has more DPM is the K91. You don't realize it, but this vehicle sits at 2,700 damage per minute. It also features 7 degrees of gun depression, which is a lot. The K91 has really good accuracy at 0.326, pretty good aiming time at 3.7 seconds, and it's got really good pen, 340 on the heat, 260 on the standard. It's got really good mobility, 40 kilometers per hour as a top speed, 15 in reverse, great traverse speed at 40 degrees a second, a good power to weight of 16. <gasps> It's a really good tank. The K91 is also surprisingly cheap. Normally it comes out for about $15. It was also for sale during the Blitzfair auctions where a lot of you that probably didn't have it picked it up. It's just an amazing vehicle. It's a tank that I have not played in a very, very long time. And I figured, you know what? It's my due time. I should pull out this vehicle. Now when it comes to the armor profile on the K91, it's good and bad. The lower plate is incredibly weak and even the upper plate's pretty bad but you'll notice that the tracks are a very large portion of the front of this tank as they overlap, which means that you actually can get a lot of good bounces just by eating shells with your tracks. And I should also point out that there's a metal plate behind the front track wheels that if you hit the wrong angle is almost always going to auto ricochet the shell. So this is not one of those tanks where it's actually easy to over angle the tracks. It's actually very good at baiting shots in the tracks. So that's something great about the K91. Now the turret armor is decent. I wouldn't say it's anything amazing, but it can get the job done. Uh, what do we got here? Well, we got the 121 right in front of us, and there you go. Nice slap into the 121's turret. All right, well, we got the 183 off to the side. Okay, I have no clue what their team's doing. It looks like their entire team is crossing, which is not normal to say, none the least. Um, huh, okay, well, I'd love to get a shell into the side of you. Thank you, and let's see if we can get one more. There you go, nice. All right, well, with that, we've been able to get a pretty solid chunk of damage out. 1,036, which is just about on par with the average damage of a clip with this vehicle sitting at 1,050. Now, I definitely want to uh, cross this because I don't want to uh, I don't want to deal with the 183 or anything like that. So we're going to go over here, and this should be a lot better for our tank to deal with. Wow. Oh, never mind. It's the bat shot off to our side. Bat shot has shell reload boost and is able to get one and two shells into us. But you know what? We get two shells back in the bat chat, and we obviously have more health than that tank, so I don't really think it was worth it for that guy to uh, to really trade those shots. I knew it. I knew they have a 183 camping in their spawn. That's why I played so passively at the beginning. I'm actually happy I did, because man, do I hate 183 sitting in spawns. It is a very, very annoying thing to deal with. We got a 263 who we get a nice slap into. Unfortunately, that 263 is able to get a shell uh, back into us, which kind of sucks for me. Um, let's just go for a heat shell and look at that it goes exactly where I aim directly into the weak spot so we've bled a bit of our health you can see we got shells riddled all over our vehicle but we've also been able to deal a very solid chunk back into our opponents we got a couple seconds left two one and bonk there you go one nice slap into the 183 he misses his shot we get a second shell into his vehicle and boink there you go. Nice. With that, we've dealt over 3,100 damage. You can see where the K91, even in a tier 10 battle, just easily farms damage. In five more seconds, we already have our clip ready to rumble. And this, uh, this poor dude is not thinking very smart. We got one shell into the Type 68. We're going to go for a tracking shot. Unfortunately, it does not end up tracking him, but I don't really think it matters all too much. We get a nice shell into the 121. He bounces an AP on my turret, and, uh, well, yeah, we have just absolutely farmed the enemy, like, led by crazy, too. We got, uh, five more seconds left, and we have another shell ready to rumble. Three, a two, a one, and thank you. All right, we got the K9, or, sorry, not the K91, the art. I'm losing my mind. It's late at night. I don't know why I can't say the 121. There you go. I got it at the last time. I was going to say the K91, then for some reason the RU251, I guess because I saw a one, but, uh, 
Yeah, either way, we did a good job. I was able to showcase in that first battle just where this tank is so powerful. We sat hull down on Canyon Hill, did 4,700 damage, and absolutely swept the battlefield. Not only that, but did 1,105 combined uh, with the assistance. So we did about maybe 6,000 just about, and that's why we were able to master the tank. Pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. And that is really just about the best showcase I can give you on the K91. It's armor, not the best. As I said earlier, you saw me getting penned a lot of the time in the side of the turret, or even on the front of the turret. But the armor is good enough that it will get bounces, and it gets troll bounces as well. Side armor is pretty thick, frontal track wheels are pretty good at getting bounces, and the turret is decent, especially when you're loading premium. It can be very troll due to the way that it is shaped. So because of that, the K91 is actually a really solid vehicle for even getting bounces for the most part. Add that into the fact that you always hit back as the accuracy is great. It's pretty nice. So this battle, we have a E100 against us and a Kalf Panzer 70. Okay. Well, I'm hoping the Type 71 goes with me. It looks like he is going to. I'm hoping that is the case as I'm going to try and cross. Now you'll notice mobility wise, the K91 actually gets up to a pretty decent top speed of 40 and its power to weight isn't the best, but I mean, you can see here, we're keeping on toe to toe with the Type 71 and now we're actually going faster as we We've reached our top speed, terminal velocity. So, uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Leopard 1 does detect us, but not too much of a problem. All right, there's the E100 all the way up top, and he does get shot. Not exactly sure what that E100's doing, but, uh, yeah, uh, can I... Thank you. I don't know what that Type 71 was uh, exactly all too worried about, but I've been able to get over here, and we're going to cross this way. Hello. Oop, there you go. We got the 183. Oh, well, that was not very fun. Let's try that again. There you go. One nice shot into the 183. And, well, we can't get the final shell out, but it doesn't matter all too much. We're going to reload. And, uh, well, we'll have our shells ready in 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have our shells. Okay, is the 183 sitting here? Looks like he actually isn't. Our type is holding, and, well, our team's not doing great, if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, I'm going to get one shell into the Leopard here, and... Oh. All right, pull forwards, and... Ah. Sag. That, that's the best words that I can say. Just Sag. I'm going to try and help out my uh, Type 71 here. Hopefully the guy does not get nuked by that 183. He does get hit hard, but it does not... Uh, does not kill him, so what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Although this type is, uh, he's doing a good job blocking me. I'll give him credit. There you go. Another nice slap. And three, two, one. Ah, that was a bad shot for me. But looks like it doesn't matter too much as our team is able to come out with a kill on that guy. All right. Well, we got the Leopard one over here. And the Leopard is going to be a big threat. I can tell you that for a fact. The Leopard has 3,600 damage per minute, which is not uh, incredibly fun. I can tell you that. But we get one nice shell into the Leopard. And I'm going to finish off the KPZ. There you go. And we're going to go for one more shot into the Leopard one. And bonk. There you go. Nice slap. Leopard is going to bounce a shell on my 30B, which is going to give me precious time I need to push on his vehicle. All right, and yeah, there you go. Nice ram. Unfortunately, the KPZ does get a shell into me. And uh, yeah, I can tell you for a fact that this is not going to be a dub. I'm just looking at what's going on here, and it's not looking very good. Let's see if I can get any shells into the 183. We got one shell in... Oh, we can't pen him anymore. Unfortunate. Get a nice shot into the 121B. And I'm really hoping that uh, that this type can actually clear this 183, which he does. 121B, come on, bounce me once. No, I just need one bounce. No, cringe, cringe, cringe. Uh, we're not going to be able to evade this shot. No. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. And he bounces again. No. <laughs> Oh my god, that 1-2-1 had a pretty big skill issue there. Actually, I know that player. That that player likes to tunnel me a lot. That's all I'm going to say. But um, 4,300 damage dealt. I had a couple missed shots that were on me that game. I will definitely say that. But um, we did a good job. It's the K91. It's a great tank. And unfortunately, we had the 183 that did absolutely poob. 49%. He's not bad. Just... um. 
Zero. I mean, that's just kind of how 183 players are. You're usually either going to deal like one shot of damage like their 183 did or zero. <laughs> but uh, unfortunate. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video on the K91. It's a great tank, an absolutely fantastic vehicle, and uh, it can carry games like crazy. But um, unfortunately, not every game. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.